Hello, today I want to help you learn where to install add-ons, where to get them from, and how to enable and configure them, as well as give you a couple add-ons that will definitely transform your World of Warcraft experience. There will be a link in the description down below to a full list of all my add-ons and a brief description of what they all do. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you want to get notified every time I upload. And don't forget to leave any questions you have in the comments down below. All right, so in order to actually get add-ons, I highly recommend that you download the Twitch computer app. That way you can just get your add-ons from them. Everyone pretty much has gotten their add-ons from Twitch ever since they bought Curse uh, back several years ago. I put a link down in the description below on where you can go and download that Twitch app. Once you have it installed, go over to the mods section and select World of Warcraft. Next, choose your version of the game that you would like to install your add-ons for, especially if you have World of Warcraft and Classic or the PTR or maybe even the Shadowlands beta already installed on your PC. Then you go over to get more add-ons. Once you're there, you will see a list of popular add-ons. The popular tab is a great place to browse for new add-ons, but if you're looking for something specific, then it's much easier to browse through the categories or to just search for whatever it is you're looking for. Once you find an add-on you'd like to install, all you've got to do is click the install button and then restart your World of Warcraft client to make sure that it loads it in. From there, you just got to go and make sure it's enabled. Now, you just have to configure the add-on in-game, which is done through one of three ways. Method number one. In the game menu, under interface, you can find the add-ons tab. In it will be most of your add-ons and you can configure their appearance, functionality, and settings here. Method number two, by clicking the add-on button on your mini-map. Method number three, by typing forward slash followed by the add-ons name or abbreviation which can usually be found in the description for the add-on on this download page on Twitch. Now you're ready to use Twitch and your add-ons. Here's a list of what I consider to be must-have add-ons that everyone should have. Deadly Boss Mods is an absolute must-have add-on that gives you warnings in real time in Dungeons and Raids of any and all events coming up that you may need to react to. It'll even tell you what you need to do. And the best part, no setup required. Details Damage Meter tracks your damage and healing output and much, much more. It includes detailed graphs and breakdowns of all your damage sources and is a huge help for everybody. GTFO warns you with audio cues anytime you're standing in bad stuff. It is a huge help to new players or just anybody that's trying to get better at making sure that they're getting out of that bad stuff as fast as possible. Pratt 3.0 upgrades your chat box with new quality of life settings and even allows you to copy, paste, and click links. Handy Notes tracks treasures on your minimap and on your main map and makes collecting treasures a breeze and a lot of fun. Post tool allows you to open all of your mail with a single click of a button. Azurite Tooltips is a BFA only add-on because it works with Azurite power. It shows you the traits that you have picked on a piece of Azurite gear just by looking at the gear or mousing over it. No shift clicking required. Leatrix Maps allows more control over the map. Enable Unlock Mouse Frame to be able to move your map around your screen anywhere you want. Angry Keystones replaces a default Mythic Keystone UI with a much more detailed version. Raider.io is used by all the Mythic Plus Andes to track their progress in Mythic Keystones and in Mythic Raids and really any other difficulty of raids, and it also tells you what other players' levels and progress is as well. Now time for my favorite, some PvP specific add-ons that will absolutely transform the way that you PvP. First off, Serena is used to replace the default enemy arena team portraits with a much better version that tracks a whole lot of stuff and absolutely will make you a better player. Battleground Enemies allows you to see and target anybody on the enemy team in a battleground all with one pane. It also will tell you if any of them are carrying a flag or an orb or anything else like that, and it will even tell you what role they fill, so it makes killing and targeting healers super easy. Omnibar tracks the interrupts and offensive and defensive cooldowns of the enemy team. This add-on is super powerful, it does require a little bit of configuration to really get everything you want out of it, but it will absolutely help make you a better player. It is especially important to have if you're either a healer or a caster, so that you can really plan out those jukes and get them every time. Gladiator Losa verbally tells you when an enemy in your arena or battleground have used an offensive or defensive cooldown. This is a really, really helpful add-on, especially for people who want to improve their gameplay. And make sure you never miss a single thing in the arena. And that's it. Those are the add-ons that I recommend. 
Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those questions in the comments down below. And don't forget that I have a full list of all my add-ons and a little bit of a description of what they do in the description down below. And if any of these add-ons or other add-ons that you get in the future ever give you trouble, make sure you go to YouTube and look up a video on how to configure them or use them properly. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button. It seriously helps the algorithm. And remember to subscribe and ring that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload. Make sure to follow me on Twitter where I post memes, ask and answer questions, and notify you all when I go live on Twitch. I'll have some links to both of those down in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.